you'll notice that when you when you look at someone and you observe them and you try not to judge them, um, you just observe them. So you're not putting any labels or judging anybody. You can notice what emotional field that they're in. And that, that's what I try to do when I do my healing sessions with people. I try and notice that they're here, they're fully present in the, in the moment. And then I can identify what their emotional field is and how I can maybe try and help to improve their emotional field. And, and all I'm, that's, all, that's all healing is. So whenever you go from one frequency of energy to a high frequency of energy, then then healing occurs. That's just, 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 just happens. The cells in your body just respond to the emotions that you feel. So hopefully for a lot of us, we'll achieve a, an awakening uh, experience in our lives. And uh, sometimes it comes and goes. Sometimes it doesn't stay forever. Sometimes you have an awakening and it, it all feels really wonderful. And it's, you just think, you know, the life that I'm leading and the, and the, the direction I'm going in is, is, is perfectly fine. And um, the people around me, they're perfectly fine. And everything's as, as it should be. And sometimes we lose that when we, we get involved in dramas again, but then we know we've done it, so we can do it again. And eventually, you, as your level of consciousness rises, you sort of reside in that awakening state so that you, you uh, feel that the people around you, you don't judge them for what they've done or what they're thinking or what they're feeling. You just know that they are perfectly okay as they are because they're on a journey from some energy field to a better energy field. So the meditations we're doing today, um, I'm doing um, the heart meditation, which we always do at our meditations, which I think is a really important thing to do. And then we're going to do a chakra meditation. So I'll explain both of them again because there are quite a few new people today. So the idea of teaching this first meditation is to, to teach us where we can pay attention, we, that we can pay attention to where we want it to be. We don't have to just be overrun by our feelings and thoughts and emotions. So we can direct our thoughts from here to there or from here to there or wherever we want it to be. And then we can, we can direct our, our thoughts through our body and then we can start to recognize emotions and try and increase the emotion that we're feeling. And at the end of the meditation, you have a better feeling than you had at the beginning. So obviously, then healing must occur in the body. There's no, there's no way that healing won't occur if, this, if you have a high frequency of energy at the end. So emotions are just frequencies of energy like colors are, like sounds are, everything's just energy. So. Um, and even if you're feeling the best you've ever felt right at this instant and the most joyous, amazing feeling you could ever feel, you can still feel a better feeling. So I'm going to get my singing bowl. And um, the reason, uh, by the way, we use things like bells or singing bowls or music is to give you a focal point to focus on. So something that you can actually attach to that's, um, that you can focus to, focus on it. Just I've got to try and find out how I can do this. No, it doesn't that leave that there. So when you hear the sound, it gives you a point of focus and that all your attention goes to the sound, okay? So, so close your eyes and we'll just take a deep breath. Notice the air going in and out. And just notice where the breath is actually settling in your body. Is it settling in the upper chest? Lower abdomen. Try to notice that your breath starts to become lower down in your abdomen. Now 
just while you're breathing, try to listen to the sounds that are coming from inside of the room. Just notice the sounds, if there are any, and try to not identify what they are, just that they exist. Search for the sounds coming from outside of the room. Shift your attention to the outside of the room, to outside of the room. again to the inside of the room. Just notice any sounds. attention to the outside of the room. As this occurs, some of you may feel a physical feeling in your brain. As you switch attention. attention again to your breathing and try to lower the breath to the lower abdomen. Just nice and gentle. Now 
imagine your breath going around your stomach. Just around that little part of your body, swirling around, cleansing as it goes. your throat and your shoulders around that part of your body and swirling around just cleansing as it goes. Imagine your breath going above your head, a big ball, a big ball of energy above your head, swirling and cleansing as it goes. And as the breath swells around above your head, you notice that there's a, a light color, white and gold shining, coming bright. I'm just noticing this energy above your head. Noticing that this energy is a very 
beautiful feeling, very high frequency, beautiful feeling. Something you can't really put a name to, but you know that it's a high frequency, wonderful feeling. Loving, joyous, peaceful. Feel this energy swirling around. Just imagine it dripping around down through your body and swirling around as it goes down, it covers you completely. So around your head again, and your throat, and your shoulders, around your heart. This beautiful energy flowing around. Expanding outwards around the abdomen. Around the pelvis. Base of the spine. Right down to your feet. Just feel the feeling of your whole body glowing with this beautiful light. This beautiful energy. radiating outwards to the world, connecting with everything that's in Just open your eyes when you're ready. That's good. Lovely. So, uh, so the meditation for healing teaches us that we can have control over where our thoughts are. So therefore we can have control over our emotions. Um, I mentioned before the, um, the awakening moments that we can achieve and they occur when we, we find that we're not tangled up with anything that's in the physical realm so much. We're sort of looking at the emotions and the feelings rather than the physical. And we're not really so bothered by things around us. We know that things around us are all perfect, it's like walking through a forest and there are a whole lot of new things that we see that we, we notice them, but we don't need to judge them and say they're good or they're bad. 
we can just say they're there, you know, they're there. And, um, and they can help us to uh, create a feeling inside of us that's, um, that's a feeling of sort of acceptance and joy and unity. And, and, uh, and that's why we're, we're trying to find a way to focus our attention, just eliminating thoughts, not really eliminating thoughts, but noticing that they're there, but we don't have to worry about them. So um, there are lots of different ways to meditate. And often people sit in a room for hours on end with just silence, which I find very difficult to do. Um, I mean, I've done it for years, but I find it, it's actually quite hard. But if you can pay attention and switch your attention to where you want it to be, so therefore, when you're out in the world, doing whatever you want to do, and something happens around you that you don't really want to be thinking about, just switch your attention to something else. So it's also uh, an important thing to remember that the cells in your body respond to the emotions you feel. They don't respond to the thoughts that you think, but they respond to the emotions behind the thoughts. So thoughts come into your mind according to the emotions you feel. Whatever emotion you're feeling, you attract thoughts that are equal to that vibration. So if you want to have better feeling thoughts, you've got to have better feeling emotions. So. So when you meditate and you, you know that this is possible, you can concentrate on your breathing. If something's around you that you don't want to deal with or you don't, you find it stressful to deal with it, you just focus on your breathing. You decide what you want instead. And you look at something completely unrelated. In fact, it doesn't have to be related to whatever the drama is going on around you. And when you focus on the unrelated thing, it's a really good thing and you get your mind completely absorbed into, absorbed into that, that, uh, that thing, then the cells respond. So they'll, once you get the feeling of it, the cells respond. So, so your subconscious needs a story or a, some kind of visual or um, uh, emotional thing to focus on. But um, your subconscious doesn't change just with thoughts, it changes with uh, visual and emotional stuff. So that's why we're focusing on this high frequency energy, this color that drips over our body or pours over like honey. Um, and when we, feel, when we think that, we get the feeling of it and it helps us to, to really get the feeling of it. So the cells respond to that feeling. So we've just had a beautiful, wonderful, indescribable feeling that's overwhelmed our entire body. That's just the best thing we've ever, we can ever imagine. So when we really can feel that, the cells respond to that and whatever frequency they were at before, they must be higher when we do that, that meditation. So it's a really good thing to do and you don't have to sit and do the whole meditation. You can just remember that at certain times in, in your day when, you, when you're doing something, you can say, oh, I'm going to take a few deep breaths and just think what out there is, what is, what is there in my environment that's really beautiful, something I can focus on or you hear a bird sing or just sit with it for a minute and just don't identify it, don't judge it, don't believe that it's separate from you, believe that you're part of it and, uh, and your body will, will respond to that too. Oh, there's a whole lot of information. There's a, one of the questions I got asked when, uh, uh, during the week, uh, during the healing was uh, when someone sees a beautiful object, could be a could be a statue of a Buddha or it could be a bunch of flowers. What's the best way to approach that object to be grateful? And really the best thing is to not believe that you're separate from it. So when you see a beautiful bunch of flowers or um, something that you really admire, start with the, with the thought that you are the flowers and the flowers are you. There is no separation that because you're they're admiring this, this thing and noticing the joy in, in the flowers or whatever it is you are joyous about, notice that you are part of that and that that is part of you. The energy is, is joint and complete. So when a Buddhist go up to a Buddha and they bow, they're really acknowledging the Buddha in them and they're bowing to themselves and noticing that that it's all one. So it's a really good practice when you're looking at a, an amazing view of something or beautiful garden or you're looking at someone you love to acknowledge that you aren't separate, that 
when you acknowledge the higher the higher um, vibrational feelings of that, that person or that, that object, that you are actually the same. The lower the frequency you you choose, so if you if I see something and I say I really don't like that, what I'm actually saying is I'm completely separate from that and all the bad things there and all the good things are over here. <laughs> so that's what happens with the lower frequency. So when you look at something that you really love or you think is so, so beautiful, you're actually really connecting it with yourself and you're identifying it with yourself. So that's an important thing to realise as well. And when you do that, the cells respond again. So the cells continually trying to achieve a higher frequency. And that's the thing that you feel when you have this awakening experience that you are completely joined. Everything's everything's perfect as it is, even the bad things, they don't seem bad. They just seem to be things that are happening as people unfold into their, um, their awakening, their high frequency of energy. I thought I would... Uh, Oh, the other thing about about that is that you achieve compassion when you do that. So when you look at something and you appreciate it, you achieve compassion. That's the only way you can achieve compassion. So to to eliminate judgment, um, acknowledge the beauty in something, uh, and notice that if there's someone that's been suffering or you've been suffering, that then creates a contrast because you don't like the suffering. You want something better, and you can you can accept that you are really part of the same process and you can you can have compassion so it's quite possible if if you've got a situation that you can't find a compassionate response to or you can't really forgive something just don't worry just give it time sit use your breathing and um, use this this teaching that we did with the heart meditation because our heart fields are actually all interconnected and all joined all throughout the universe, everyone that's in the universe. So we, we can measure it already four metres out with the equipment that we've got, but the heart field goes out everywhere. So when you think about someone on the other side of the world, they, they actually somehow get that message.